Hey everyone, this is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. After playing my childhood Game Boy, it's quite obvious that the screen looks a bit bad. So after uploading that video, I decided to go check AliExpress for a new screen. They sell the screens with the case for about 55 bucks. We can replace my scratched screen and the PP Yellow case for something to look quite trendy. Package from China. So this is what came in the mail. One of these Jiffy bags. First thing we have are two screwdrivers. One's a tri-wing, one's a very small posi. Then we have this plastic case. As well as the plastic case. My daughter likes blue, so yeah. Some buttons are inside. Eh, looks alright. In here we seem to have the screen. And then this little note from the seller. Unfortunately, no instructions came with this kit. Hmm. Let's just check what we have here. So this is the PCB for the front panel. Then we have the ribbon cable as well as the screen itself. So we actually need some parts out of here. We're going to use the supplied screwdrivers. Be careful with the screws as they are quite brittle. To take out this front facing PCB we need to undo a few screws. But one of mine is actually completely rusted up. Luckily for us, we don't need this PCB. So we'll take out everything else. So this PCB we got in the kit will replace it completely. Take out this ribbon cable. and do some cleaning. Just gonna use some uh, contact spray and a toothbrush. Hamigaki dokana. Now this back panel fits in the new case perfectly. Just gonna screw this in. We'll apply some double-sided sticky tape. This is to both sides of the screen. Now this is attached to the mount. Which then goes into our new case. We'll just add the buttons. Then we'll snip off the speaker. So now we'll need to solder the speaker to the new circuit board. It's not too difficult, there's only two connections to make. Now we need to attach the ribbon cables. This last one was a bit awkward to get in. It took a few attempts. The moment of truth. Wait, wait a minute. Oh dear. Yeah, I messed up. Just need to pull up the screen. And then remove this layer of paper. There we go. Now with the batteries, rechargeables. And the moment of truth, Mario Land. Here we go. What? Uh, nothing. Let's try some other batteries. Oh, thank God. All right. Not Nintendo, but it's a good sign. 
We'll just need to reinsert the cart. We don't need to blow. That's a lie. Beautiful. The new screen is slightly larger, but it's like night and day. It's so clear. It's a bit unfortunate that they used grey instead of black for the start select and the bezel. But otherwise it looks very nice. This has definitely given some new life to my old Game Boy. We can actually push in on the roller and then select from menu here. When I first tried this, it was a bit stiff. After pushing it in and out a few times, it loosens up a little. From here, we can choose brightness, vertical position, as well as horizontal position. We can also add a pixel effect. As well as a little picture of a battery. We can also change the colors, much like a Super Game Boy. Or we could use one of the set defaults. Let's play some Mario Land. The D-pad and the buttons seem to be slightly clickier. That might be because my old Game Boy has been used a lot. But you could always use the old Game Boy parts for this. It works very well, nonetheless. Some of the carts I have lying about. These two. Yeah. Time for some Kirby. And some Simpsons. This is a terrible game, but I don't know. Some people might have liked this. If you want a decent way to spruce up your old Game Boy, look no further. The instructions that came with this kit are not that great, but in the end, the result is what matters. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra!